Nestled in the hustle and bustle of Shah Jahanabad, also famously known as Old Delhi, are several small quaint shops selling fragrant perfumed oils in glass bottles. Known as Athars or Itr, the word has Persian roots and literally means perfume, fragrance or scent. I am presently in the 8th generation of this family business and uh, I have been working here since uh, for the past uh, 10 years and uh, continuing the legacy of our family. So ethers are basically uh, extracts of the flowers and the plants and uh, like various parts of the plants we extract the oil from them. Like suppose the rose ether is extracted from the petals of the rose flower and another example is the khas atar which is extracted from the roots of the plant so various parts of the plant has uh, oil inside them and we extract that oil and that oil is called the atar basically and uh, so then we blend those different materials and make it into a, another perfume that we wear Suppose the rose atar, we have to make a rose atar. First of all, we need to require a lot of a, a large, very large quantity of flowers. First of all, so that's available in the field itself. So we have to go to the field where the flowering season is, when the flowering season is there, and where where the whole crop is grown. So uh, that happens only once a year when the flowering season happens. So we need to go there and we plug the flowers and we put them in a big. Uh, the container which has water in it we put all the flowers there and then we put steam from beneath and with the help of the steam the oil comes out of the flowers and it distills we so that process is called steam distillation so that is for the rose flower and for the jasmine there's a different technique which is used that's called uh, solvent extraction so we use a, a, a solvent, a typical type of a solvent and we immerse the, all the flowers into that solvent and we have to keep it for a, 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 a period of time and that solvent absorbs the oil from the flower and then we separate the oil and the solvent. So basically different flowers have the different process of extraction There's no, and it has been since ages. So we are just following those techniques and uh, presently there's uh, the modern technique which has which is very costly but that's called uh, see, liquid carbon dioxide extraction so that is the best technique for any that is a there's a technique through which you can extract any oil from any part of the plant kushal shares that itru are mainly of three types natural synthetic and blended while natural ethers are a direct extraction of flowers and plants and therefore have a limited variety, synthetic ether offer vast fragrance options as they are made by combining various compounds and fragrances. Blended ether are a mix of both natural and synthetic. This is also why prices of these varieties of ether vary a lot. So the rose flower that you normally get in the market that is not the rose flower which is used <coughs> to make an atar, to make the rose atar. We are not talking about that rose. It's a different species of rose. It's called Damascus rose. Damascus rose. It's a special species of rose. It's also called as Desi Gulab. And it's light pink in color. So only with that rose, we can extract the oil. And the second part is the oil content in the flower is very less. And so we have to have a very large quantity of flowers and even after that we get a very little amount of the oil, that atar that we say. So these are the two reasons basically uh, of the rose oil being so expensive. Other oils are not that expensive, other atars are not that expensive. If you look at our history of Indian culture, like since since the since the past time also, it has been associated very closely associated with our religion. 
like right we worship we worship and we offer these things to god we offer incenses we offer flowers to god so it has been very closely related to our hindu religion and also in muslim religion also they have their in the religion to put atar and to be fragrant so i feel that this association of uh, us human beings with fragrances has been since ages i mean it's not a recent thing in today's time and age people are preferring and ordering branded fragrances and perfumes from the west while these may be cheap but are not natural or long lasting when compared to itru others have uh, more uh, naturality in them as compared to perfumes and people feel more connected with them and like they don't have any alcohol in them so they feel that that's more pure and uh, that's what makes them more connected and uh, more user friendly as far as fragrances are concerned like people are not aware like international people are not much aware of these things right now and they are more aware of the indian incenses and the in in the incense sticks and the cones like the do pagarbati those kind of stuff so they are more inclined towards these things they which are more indian in nature as far as fragrances are concerned i think they are more uh, uh comfortable using their own perfumes rather than using they're not acquainted with these things so if we if we if we get a chance to get them aware of these things also if they are aware of these things like such things are also present i i'm sure that they would prefer these things over the perfumes once they get aware about all in addition to being natural and safe to use itra boasts a variety of medicinal and health benefits and are an important part of aroma therapy with the aroma you treat a particular kind of a disease or something so that's very popular and it's not been today's aaj ki baat nahi hai ye bahut purane zamanon ki baat hai like you said yunani and that those things different others have different therapeutic properties supposing the lavender oil or atar that we talk about natural lavender that's very versatile it it uh, it is very helpful in relieving your headache relieving pain and relieving colds and so many other things it's uh, it helps in your good sleep induces induces good sleep so you put few drops on your pillow the lavender oil you put and you get a good night sleep so like that there's a whole book also like i'll show you there's a whole book also on it you search for any it's called the fragrant pharmacy so it's a complete guide to aroma therapy and essential oils so you name anything that you want like the oil which oil is good for what purpose so everything is listed here so it's a it's a complete guide so there obviously you are right that they have a lot of therapeutic values these others and you can treat any kind of a problem there is a scientific scientifically proven fact that the memory oh sorry this the fragrance has a very close link to our memory so when you smell something the veins of the nose they get they are directly linked to your brain so the smell directly goes to your brain when you smell something and it gets stored in your brain so supposedly supposedly you are putting any any kind of a fragrance today and you go to any occasion or somewhere and uh, so that that fragrance gets linked to that occasion okay so whenever you wear that fragrance again you go into that same zone supposingly aaj aapne ek fragrance uh, wear kari aur fir ag- agle 10 saal baad aapne wohi same fragrance dobara lagayi to aap wohi 10 saal pehle wali occasion pe aa jaoge ki acha ye fragrance maine 10 saal pehle उस ओकेजन पे लगाई थी 
So you go back into the same zone, the same memories get refreshed in your mind. And it's such a wonderful thing, it's such a beautiful thing that uh, even if you're not present there, you automatic, automatically go into that zone, smelling the same fragrance. So the fragrance takes you, uh, makes you travel through time. In terms of humans, I would say it's very closely linked to our emotions. Like, and uh, obviously, yeah, fragrances give you a sense of uh, happiness and uh, a sense of confidence in yourself. Like, there's so many varieties of others. Like, if you have any particular uh, interest, like a particular fragrance that you like, and you wear it, you feel nice about yourself. So obviously, it's very closely related to your well-being, emotional well-being, and your um, and your mental happiness. And that's what I would say. Itru have been a part of our culture since time immemorial. However, the younger generations are drifting away from it. Kushal, who is working hard to continue his family's 207 years long legacy, feels that we should work on creating an awareness about Itru. One of the five senses is the smell of the sense of smell. So I think if since beginning, like when we are when we were students, we should have been like if we were told in school, if we would have worked upon this sense, I think uh Mari awareness to Zada Oti was Mamlemi. Because we have not thought about this Apne school me kabi is Mamle me hamne kabi dhyani ni diya is this sense ke upar the sense of smell ke upar to agar hum thoda is mamle mein dhyan dein agar students ko hum is tarah interest paida kare in cheezon mein to obviously there is a lot to explore as so a it's an ocean like if we can uh, create an awareness in them about these products agar unko malum chale ki wohi same fragrances jo wo perfumes mein bottles mein khareed rahe hain wohi same fragrances agar unko other ke form mein mil rahi hain uh, at a very uh, feasible price, at a very reasonable price. If they know this thing, then obviously they would prefer these products over the perfume. So basically, we need to create awareness. And uh, awareness we are through online platforms, like you are doing. So if we do it, then it will be really helpful. And they should explore what all, what all things are available. And uh, it's, a, it's a world to explore, basically. So, this is the thing that they should know what is right and what, what is our speciality. It's great to see you here. Thank you for watching our work. If you haven't subscribed yet, don't forget to click the bell icon and subscribe to Mojo Story and support independent, robust journalism.